You will go before me. You will never leave me. Prayer is one of the activities that every spiritual person you must work on engaging yourself in. Amen. And the reason is that every time you find yourself praying, you are actually inviting God into your situation. What it means is that you are telling God that this situation that I find myself in, without you, I cannot make it. The second reason is that prayer releases power. Amen. As a Christian, there is a lot of power in you. The Bible says that but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Amen. In Acts 1.8. Now, everybody, when you become a Christian, one of the things that happen is that the Holy Spirit comes to live in you. Amen. And when he comes to live in you, he doesn't just come for the sake of coming to live in you. He comes to give you power. And the power is supposed to be used for something. So that you can become a witness. So that when people see you, they can say that this person has God in him. Is that not so? Yeah. But you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me. Amen. It shall be a witness that there is somebody in you. That is why the Apostle John said that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. Now, this power is there, but if you don't pray, the ability to release the power is not there. Because prayer causes the power to be released. Is that not so? When you take a car, you see, there is battery in the car. But until you put in the key and spark the ignition, the car will not just spark. Even though there is enough energy in the car to move. You will go before me. You will never